uh, Thank Catherine, you, Peter. Catherine Stover to return to address articles 49 through 51. These are charter amendments regarding zoning changes, emailing ATM warrant, and alternate selectmen. So I have three other articles that I brought forward as a citizen's article. Um, and again, I'd like to repeat that when I bring articles forward, it's not because I'm going to have any benefit, but because I believe that they will be of benefit to the people or to the town. Um, the first one is about zoning changes. Um, so the, basically the article says we're not going to have zoning changes at a special town meeting unless a citizen brings it forward. And the reason for this is zoning changes, I think, can be one of the most complicated bits of business that we do at town meeting. And unless zoning issues affect you personally, you're probably not going to go to the special town meeting. So I think it's important for people to have an opportunity to discuss changes, especially like if um, if we brought the the intensity or the, the use chart to a special town meeting, not everybody would be there to understand or discuss some of the changes or they could be explained. So that's why I brought that forward. Um, the second one is a charter amendment to allow us to send the warrant to just heads of household. And But the only reason with that, there's a problem with that in that the charter right now says we send it to every registered voter. If we just send it to the heads of household, we could be um, missing a lot of voters because there are lots of, ho of heads of household who are not voters. Perhaps they're not a citizen. Perhaps they are you know, just somebody that's not registered to vote here and registered to vote somewhere else. But there is somebody in that household that is a voter. So um, one of the first items that an attorney general will say when I go to submit the, the bylaws and the packet is, you know, how did you let the people know that this was happening? So, and I think the more we get technologically savvy, the more things will be done online. And yes, we can email it, it's on the town website or whatever, but it's the, it's the satis it's satisfying the attorney general's procedures. That's the important thing that we need to do. And having these changes would allow us to be in compliance now and in the future, no matter what they come up with. And believe me, the state's always coming up with something. So I think this would be the best way for us to make sure that we are in compliance, but also to anticipate any changes in the future. And the third thing is the amendment to establish the Office of Alternative Selectmen. Now, um, twice during my time as town clerk, we've had an occasion where a selectman either resigned or died. And the first time we had a special election, and then uh, the second time the selectman decided based on financial interests, I think, of the town, not to have the special election. They decided to just soldier on and, because it was only gonna be for a few months. So having a special election now costs in excess of $10,000. And we have alternates on the planning board. We have alternates on the HDC. But it appears that we have provided more assurance to get the business of the planning board and the HDC done than we've done for the selectmen. I think, why can't we do the same for them? And Nantucket has a history of being forward thinking in a lot of ways. We were the first town in the Commonwealth to have a female selectman. We were the first to establish a municipal sewer system and land bank in the Commonwealth. And we were one of the first to establish an historic district commission and so many other things. I think it's absolutely true that the position of alternate selectmen isn't something that's being done in the Commonwealth. It would be a first for everybody. But I also think that if it ever had to be invoked in the future, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and have to go through a special election or something like that. So um, I expect that when other municipalities see that it can work, that they will also um, opt to do this. Um, uh, let's see, did I miss anything? I think basically, um, the, well, the alternate, alternate would serve just for one year. So it would be the next highest vote getter 
in the annual election, and they would serve until the next annual election. And then if it's one or two offices that are filled, it's the next person in line. So. Okay. A question for you here. Um, some zoning or real estate articles need to be addressed in a timely manner. Waiting a year can be a problem. Do you have anything to say on that issue? Uh, well, if, if we're calling the special town meeting to address those issues, that's fine. It is, the article um, makes it so that if the selectmen are calling the meeting, or if a citizen is adding an article on the meeting, that's fine. If it's just a bunch of zoning changes that are just the normal business of zoning adjustments that we do at the annual town meeting, it's, it appears. I think it's um, important for people to discuss those or have the ability to discuss those. If things are, um, are urgent, then we call a special town meeting to deal with that. <clears throat> and one of our attendees has pointed out that emailing a warrant is equivalent to 150 eight and a half by 11 pages. I'm not going to ask you to comment, but... Well, they can also be emailed a link. Correct. Okay, thank yes. you. Mm -hmm.